and welcome back to the Paul Dolden Detail Show. Right, this week we have a very filthy Bolingo. No, that's not some new sexual dance I've uh, recreated by watching far too many episodes of Test Daily and her sidekick. It's a very, very dirty minibus or people carrier, whatever you want to call it, Battle Cat. It's not been washed for two years. That is not clickbait. It has not been washed for two years plus. The reason I know this is because it was probably the last time John had its service, and this is what he can re recollect after having several conversations with him about it and chastising him. Shame on you, John. Anyway, on with this week's video. Samsung products, UK-based. Um, I've used the whiteout before, the um, snow foam, and I've actually used their shampoo, and it was very, very good. So is the rest of this range going to live up to expectations? We're going to find out. So a little bit of background information uh, about the products. These were kind of developed... Um, via Pro Detailers, um, Sam that runs it um, spoke to James Walker, TI22 Detailing, and they said, well, you know, we'll work with you, see what you think of the products. If it's good enough for a pro, it's got to be good enough for us like out here. So let's just go through these products very, very quickly. We have Primus, or Primus, the pre-wash concentrate. This is available and ready to use um, formula as well in different sizes, 100 uh, mil or 150. To 150 in a one litre trigger spray, preferably in warm water. And then we have, um, and that does what it says on the bottle. It, well, you'll see by the video. I think we all know what pre wash does. Then we have Bugsy. This is their bug and griming busting gel. Kill those bugs. Uh, and then we have uh, Squeaky. Got some good names. Squeaky, the luxury shampoo, a pure shampoo. We also have Reactive. Now, this is the wheel cleaner. Now, there is another wheel cleaner behind me for sort of like regular use. This is a re Reactive wheel cleaner. What do I mean by that? Well, this actually has like a built-in fallout remover system. It's not fallout remover. Don't get confused. Don't just go spraying this on the panel. This is for wheels only. It's designed to tackle filthy wheels. Degreasing agents, get rid of that grime, that tarnishing. And these wheels are horrific on this car. Honestly, they're awful. So, non-acidic reactive wheel cleaner. Then we have uh, Whiteout, which we've used before, the um, Snow Foam, obviously. Speedy, which is uh, Speedy Gonzalez, the fastest glass cleaner in the West. That's just a normal glass cleaner. We have another glass cleaner called Clarity. Now, this is a hydrophobic one. When you put it on the glass and you buff it off, you're left with like a, a coating. And then when it rains, which it does a lot in our country, and the water just beads off, it's normally about 40 miles an hour plus, something like that. Just means safer driving. I love this, this sort of stuff. Brilliant products. Uh, then we have uh, Boosted. This is the uh, last topper. This goes over the top of the other products which I'm going to talk about very quickly. This is a quick detailer, high beading quick detailer. And the one we're going to put on before that is the Hydro. This is the wet coat product. Put on a wet panel, spray it off, and stand back in amazement. You can use that on glass as well, but I didn't this week. You'll find out in the video, right, a bit of shopping advice. Um, I found out most of the strong beers in the supermarket are elbow height. Well, they are for me, so I have to buy them because I don't want to reach up or reach down. I can't be bothered. Anyway, get some cheesy crisps, get a big bowl, get some strong beer, and roll the video. So here we go then. This is Primus Pre-Wash Concentrate. We're going to be using that very shortly. And Reactive, the reactive wheel cleaner not a desiccating fallout remover do not get confused right we start by getting rid of the gunk from the arches and once again we're using that weird attachment on the end do not worry i will put a link underneath this video so you lot can go and order one that is the stubby gun from high definition detail if anyone's interested and i run a c120 nil fisk not the most capable of machines, but it's served me for several years. Hint, hint, my dad's just got a new one. <coughs> Cranzel. If you're watching, Dad. All right, start by rinsing down all the crud, or the worst of the crud. And then we have 150 ml of the pre-wash in the one liter trigger spray. I'm gonna coat the arch, coat the tire. That is a EZ bog style brush. It is called the EZ Go Brush. Incidentally, if you have a failed wheel brush like EZ, you can email their customer service page or just their contact page and they will send you some replacements. I have two new big ones. Yes, two big ones. Because I'm greedy. They were very, very good actually. Right, Tough Shine tire scrubbing brush. Next, to scrub the walls of the tire. There is no point in missing those because your dressing will not adhere to the surface and just be a waste of time. 
start by liberally coating the wheel, the reactive wheel cleaner. You want to allow this to dwell, and when it changes colour, you can then agitate with some brushes of your choice. Look at the colour of that. The barrels are completely shot. They are not good at all. But we're going to try and get these looking a lot better. So it reacts pretty quickly. Bleeding hell, as they say on Instagram. Going in with a large EZ brush. Why have I got foam on it? Well, that's the shampoo. That stops the kickback. And yes, oh, that's just too much. No, oh, that's too handed, really. This is a family show, Paul, for God's sake. And it's frothy. No, it's frothing up as well, oh, for God's sake. If you don't want to watch this bit, fast forward it. It's far too rude for this time of night. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we proceed. So agitate this, it will foam up very, very quickly. And also you'll see that grime start oozing out. You might want to rinse your brushes. Like I said, you might want to rinse your brushes, Paul, halfway through. These are awful. Oh no, he's going in again. Good God. And then a soft face wheel brush. That's a Vican brush. It's got a rubber bit on the end to stop you scratching your paintwork. First of the rinse down stages to see what we're going to be left with. Wow. Well, they're looking a lot better. We might have a, a closer inspection of these. Obviously, missed a few bits as I go around again. So they're not perfect, as you can see. This required for a second hit. And yes, believe it or not, it bled for a second time. Really? Yes, there you go. Again. Yeah, they're not good. Now obviously you're gonna sit there in the comment section and go, well, you should jack the car up, took the wheels off. Yes, I should, a lot of things. But this, remember, this is a wash, this is a deep clean. This isn't a full detail. So the backs aren't as bad, obviously, even though they're running discs. I thought these would be just as bad. Quick rinse of the brushes in between the stages. Another liberal coating of reactive. And again, the same thing. Bleeding hell, I didn't go in double-handed, that's just far too much. I was too tired for the first time round. I was exhausted. Now look at the filth coming out of those tires. Yes, there is a reason for us to fast forward this bit because it's quite a lengthy process doing wheels. Now, on with the lovely area, the flap region. You know I like a nice open flap, especially dirty ones like this. Well, this was pretty caked. Um, diesel is not the uh, most forgiving of chemicals. Dust and grime builds up in there it's an oily surface. So once again, use the pre-wash. You can use the bug, the bug remover. It works quite well but I chose to use the pre-wash. How satisfying is that? Yes, I do need to get out more, you're right, or stay in more. Now we come to the pre-wash stage. Now, normally you rinse this down with your pressure washer. I chose to use the pre-wash just to show how effective this stuff can be. They're eating away at the dirt, breaking it down. Quick panel test. And then a good old blast off. You can see it coming out, even with sped up footage. The rest of that underneath there is tar deposits, which you'll see being removed. Bugsy next for bird doo doo and bug splats. Enough of those on this. And part near a tree. Not good. Yes, and yes, it could do with a chemical uh, decontamination, i.e. fallout remover, and it could do with clay barring, but we're not here to do that today. We're just here to rinse down and get blimmin' clean and put some protection back on. So that comes off with ease. Gets around to the dirty Bilingo badge. Another coating of the uh, pre-wash. Yet more bugs. and more pre-washing. Now, once you've done this, you've 
kept it all on the paint, you can then cover it with snow foam because that allows that dwell time. Not too bad front end. This was all about the rear end of this vehicle. So hit it with white out. This is the snow foam with a bit of extra uh, bite. And yes, I did need a hop up for this. I might be just under six foot five, but these are quite tall, these vehicles. We will be doing an interior clean on this later on in the year. That is one dirty rear end. There's only two things that are dirty in my life, and one of them's in my mind, and the other one, well, it isn't. Now work this in with your brushes. Now I have to say, this was a bit of a failure. Uh, these did molt considerably. Uh, they are fairly generic, these brushes. These are from Samsung, but he will be changing his accessory range. He's looking to, to develop that more. Look at the grime coming out of that. That's why you do it. Quick switcheroo to the Alien Magic Hogheads, Hog's Hair brushes. Hog hair, blimey, a bit of small brush, wouldn't it? These parts happen to be the worst affected areas. Now you can wrap this up again with your pre-wash. If you use an APC, you can do exactly the same thing for the really grubby areas. And if it starts to dry out, put some pre-wash on it. These areas were awful. You would not believe the amount of rinses this vehicle had. And yet again, I was finding more crud flying out. Particularly good on chrome or chrome effect surfaces. So all the time you're doing this, it's just extending that dwell, softening up the grime, ready for you to rinse it off. It's not just made for pretty pictures and Instagram. There is a method behind this madness. Oh good, front grills, my favourite part of the vehicle. Not. Once you've done this, you bust your hop up out. If anyone wants to know where you can get those hop ups from, those little mini workbenches, screw fix to them if you're in the UK. Another one of many rinses down to get rid of the pre-wash and the crud. Starting to look a lot better, isn't it? They're always a bad dirt trap on cars. These panels, these trims they put on cars, they put them on so when you open up your door, you don't dent your door. Instead of that, you just dent someone else's. Well, that's what it seems to do where I live. The door banging brigade. So that's after the pre-wash, already looking nice and spangly. Yes, don't forget the flap area. I always like to keep my hand in, in the flap. Who doesn't? Apart from, well, Christmas and birthdays. Or was it the other way around? I don't know. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, start flushing those rails out. And that's it, spray it all in your face. A number of people like getting sprayed in the face, and I think you can find them on Google. Although I wouldn't advise you search for that. You might want to delete your history very quickly. Anyway, Squeaky, the luxury shampoo, pure shampoo. This was very high in suds, but it had an equal amount of lubrication, which is what you need. And you'll find it very beneficial on these kind of first time cleans, or first time cleans in two years. Also doing this, um, if 
you're a bit slow at washing, you might find it starts to streak. This is one of the very few shampoos that doesn't streak. I found some shampoos leave some streaking issues. Now, I'm a bit slower because obviously I'm moving the camera. I didn't have any issues on the day with this. And the sun was out. Incredible. Now it gets around to the non-review products. This is just a tar remover. Probably work out which tar remover by the shape of that bottle. Answers on a postcard to which tar remover you're using. Allow this to dwell for several minutes. It is caked in tar. You'll see it start to react to it straight away. Choose one of your non plush microfibers or general purpose microfibers. You can hand wash them after, but they're never the same. And don't go and put them in a the wash with a lot of bath towels. I mean, who do a stupid thing like that? On the more stubborn bits, another gentle spray, and there you go. So another rinse down because you've been using tar remover. And then it's onto Hydra. This is the wet coat product. Now this will leave some protection on there and some gloss. That's what it looks like when you've sprayed it on and you're rinsing it off. Look at that for water behavior. Yes, well that's all very well, Paul, but we want to see you putting it on. Don't worry, don't worry, it's coming. A few sprays. And just grab your jet wash, and there you go. Stand back a little bit. And when you're doing a vehicle this size, this makes a hell of a difference. We're getting some protection on it, and we're getting it on there fast. Now avoid doing this in direct sunlight. The summer's in and out all day, but it was very, very brief as it is this time of year. Remember in Br Britain, we only get two weeks of summer. Look at that for a bit of difference. Flat to beading, very, very quickly. You'll get that sort of milky residue. You'll see it very, very quickly. It'll just disperse. And you've just got beading. So my advice to you is to dry this pretty quickly. If you have access to a warm air blower like this one, yes, it is coming up for review, probably late June time. Dry it off. using one of these or a towel. And yes, you do need ear defenders. Follow it up with a quick buff. Yeah, any last droplets, that will help as well. And you can already start seeing the nice shiny paintwork. Follow up with this, Boosted. This is their high beading quick detailer. Provides a lovely level of effing gloss. Yes, effing gloss, because it is effing good. I was on a home straight now. I could see it, it was like a mirage. It was a pack of three for five quid from Tesco's. When we've done this, it's on to the glass. Now you can use the wet coat product on the glass, but I chose to use Speedy. The super quick, high flashing glass cleaner. This stuff reacts very, very quick. 
Jones is almost as fast as me saying to my wife, do you want another glass of wine? Well, not that quick. That's just light speed. Now you can, of course, use the next product if you want on all the windows, which is a hydrophobic glass cleaner. I thought I'd give this a whirl first. This is it. Hydrophobic glass cleaner, clarity. can of course apply to the glass rather than the cloth but fairly windy day so common sense prevails. Didn't want that going on the camera lens, I'd already had the camera fall over that day and smashed the UV filter and break the battery on the uh, field monitor. So it wasn't a problem free day for me. Luckily the camera's okay. Just my pride which was very damaged. Last product, nothing to do with the review. This is CarPro Pearl, my um, favourite trim dressing at the moment. Once that was done, that was pretty much it. That was it. Enjoy the sexy B roll at the end. That all right in the end, didn't it? After um, a several, several hours, good God, that, that took all day, that vehicle. That was horrific. It wasn't good at all. Uh, but well worth doing because when John came over to pick it up, he said it didn't look like that when I bought it from the dealer. So that's job done as far as I'm concerned. Well, let's, let's just go through the products. So the pre-wash, this uh, Primus, we'll call it Primus, as in Optimus Prime. Uh, pre-wash concentrate. What do we think? Well, when you use it in a one litre trigger spray, fantastic. I would not put that in a snow foam lance, it's just gonna dilute it. I found it really, really nice. It's great to use, it smells really nice as well. It's like a cherry scent. Uh, it kind of reminds me of um, an Auto Glance APC. They also smell a cherry, don't they? It's probably the easiest scent you can use, but really enjoyed using this. Um, you could probably use this on door shuts, you know, under the bonnet. Didn't touch the door shuts for obvious reasons because of this whole thing that's going on around the world. Didn't go into the car. Um, and I, I really enjoyed using this. It's nice to use products you can dilute and also have the, the ability to buy one that's already ready made up for you guys that don't want to start diluting products. Did enjoy that one. And I have to say right from the beginning, this has been one of the hardest reviews to do. And I'll tell you why. Because they do perform. You want products to perform. And if they perform, it's job done. It's quite easy sometimes when products don't perform because I can just like tell you but this has been very, very difficult. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, then we move on to the uh, reactive wheel cleaner. On the day, off camera, I tried on one of the rear wheels, two other different uh, products. I won't tell you what they are, and they did not do what this did. But all I can say to you is, this stuff clings. Yes, of course, it smells like a fallout, but it, because of the degreasing agents in it and those sort of brightening agents, it's a bit like uh, PNS Brake Buster. It really brightens, that we saw in the video, brightens that wheel up, gets all that tarnish and all that muck. These wheels are awful. They're pretty much shot. The barrels inside are caked. In an ideal world, you could probably have to use acid wheel cleaner on them because they are really, really bad. This is what happens when you just leave wheels like this and it's just utter neglect, you know. Shame on you, John. <laughs> Not everyone's a car person. I can assure you his house is like a new bloody pin. Um, anyway, 
that was really good. I enjoyed that one. Uh, the shampoo used before, it does what it says on the, on the bottle. It's it's pure, it's lovely, it's nice and lavery. It cuts through the grime. Enjoyed that one immensely. Uh, then we get to the Y out, used that before. Very impressive stuff. Not much I can say about that. That just coats the whole thing. Once you've used like Bugsy, which is by the way, is very, very good at killing bugs and used your pre-wash, you can coat your car, giving it a longer dwell time. It's my preferred method. And also stops any streaking issues as well because it just blankets the whole car and you just power wash it off. Done job. Uh, we've had the, oh, this one, yes. Very, very quickly. Yeah, we'll talk about Bugsy. Yeah, this, this reacts very, very quickly. Uh, moving around the car with a camera. By the time I come back, the fly was like that. <laughs> Good impression. It, it had, had it, it was dead anyway, but it was starting to like wilt and go down the side of the door. Uh, awesome stuff. Uh, once we'd cleaned the car, we'd done a two bucket wash, of course, kept it uh, nice and wet and onto the hydra. Now, when you're doing this, just do a couple of panels at a time. Don't be tempted to do the whole car and run around it like a mad person because you'll end up with like a, some marks on it, some, um, some ringlets, especially in a hard water area. I've mentioned this so many times before. Um, We'll talk about the end result right at the end with this, but overall, very, very good, and it beads up very, very quickly. Don't leave it on the panel too long. Get your pressure washer, stand back a bit, blast it, and you'll see instantaneous beads and water behavior. Good enough for a couple of months, by the way. Uh, then we had the Speedy. Speedy's probably the fastest reacting glass cleaners I've used to date. Um, it's very, very good. It, it transforms glass very, very quickly. There's not much you can say more about that, apart from that it's very, very quick. Aptly named Speedy. When it comes to clarity, now I can't tell this without driving the car. I presume that that will bead up nicely when it starts raining. Again, non-streaky, easy to apply. And Hydra, twin it with this, boosted the, um, the last product, the quick detailer. Um, going down the doors, you had a few little marks and on the roof. When you're using a camera and you're doing multiple shots, you're walking around and adjusting the tripod every sort of 10 minutes, it can't be helped. If you're doing it at home, you could probably get away with it. But any marks, go over it with this stuff. That will boost the gloss to effing epic proportions. <laughs> Easy for you to say. It is effing good. Really good stuff, this is. And apparently it beads like crazy. When you go back and wash your car, sort of a couple of weeks' time, everything just beads up again. The only downside to the whole review was the brushes, and they are just an accessory, and they molted like a Labrador's tail, um, as you saw in the video, uh, hence using the Alien Magic hog's hair brushes, which are my favorite brushes, by the way. Massive thanks to um, Sam for sending this lot down. There is some more stuff coming. Um, the trim stuff, I shot this video in the week. I was gonna use his trim stuff. That's coming today, uh, as long as Postman Pat delivers it in time. That'll be coming in a separate video. Right, do not run away. There is a giveaway. Right, there's gonna be a giveaway. You can click the link underneath this video and follow the uh, instructions. It's quite clear, it's quite plain. 10 packs are gonna go out um, in every month of 2020. So there is the rest of this year. Um, just click the link, follow the instructions, and best of luck to you, and you could be in a chance of winning a load of goodies like this. Then you can give me some feedback and you can make a video. Thanks ever so much to Sam and all the team at uh, Samsung. Um, Samsung, I keep saying Samsung, it's not it's Samsung products. Good luck with the giveaway. Keep putting your thumbs up. Please interact in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Subscribe, like, and all that jazz. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Tell you bye.